All right, so here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, fighting out of Spain, Ilya Topuria. It's amazing to have this type of wisdom and maturity and sophistication at 26 years of age. And that sophistication really bleeds into his fighting style. If you reference the Ryan Hall fight, that is as tricky a stylistic challenge as there is in the featherweight division. And he stayed measured the entire time before getting that knockout in round one. He has taken his game to that requisite next level ever since, making himself impossible to deny a world title fight. Well, his 13th fight winning streak is no more, but Max Holloway still makes this walk here tonight as one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world when it comes to pace, pressure, preparation, cardio. Few guys are going to be able to match with this Hawaiian dream to the table. And he can do it all. He's got great ability to get back up once he's taken down. He has takedown ability, but it's the range and the distance management that makes Max Holloway such a problem for everyone at 145 pounds. He doesn't seem as though he's throwing 100% effort with every strike. He's just touching you, right? But the accumulation of damage that Max Holloway will put on you will make guys just fold in front of him, as we saw with Ortega and in both Jose Aldo fights. He's a big featherweight. We have seen him compete at 155 pounds. He has said he wants to move up to welterweight <laughs> before his UFC and career is he said and done. He wants to beat me. Yeah, he wants a shot at the heavyweight champ. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. <laughs> Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Elia El Matador Gorgoria. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, and Undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Max Bless Holloway. All right, her game third man in the right. octagon for this one. Ready. All right, well, there's been a lot of UFC history inside these walls. We're in Newark, New Jersey. Good to have you with us live from the Prudential Center here tonight. I remember back in 2016, you, your boy Rumble Johnson had a big moment against Ryan Bader inside this arena. I mean, Ryan Bader was so scared. He shot from halfway across the octagon, right. and Rumble beat him up within 20 seconds, and the people exploded. And that is the reaction you get when you are able to put on that type of performance in front of these knowledgeable fans. And now the jab gets through. There by the champ. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Clean punch. He lands a nasty high kick up top. There's that jab from Max Holloway. Didn't take him long to find a home for that tonight. I mean, Max Holloway constantly fights behind the jab, and you would expect it at the start of every single fight. The jab leads to everything else that he does inside the octagon. How good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. 
So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Put him up. Oh, nice inside kick. position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Nicely done. All right, side control now. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolating it to try to get a Kimura. Notice he's got over the head to try to get the Kimura. You gotta be kidding me. He gets out of danger again. Once again, he gets his arm out. Great submission defense. Oh, how about that reversal by him there? All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Ilya Topuria. Well, he's connected on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. Topuria is now cut above the eye from that strike. That bears watching as this fight continues. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Well, this is what the fans came to see. Max Holloway at his best on the feet. Just an incredible combination of volume and accuracy. Tonight. I mean, it's just the volume that really does stand out about Max Holloway. Even in the Calvin Cater fight, the numbers that he put up are out, out of worldly. We don't see people strike at that rate. This guy can go so hard over the course of 25 minutes, and he will really drown his opponents. That's exactly what he's done tonight. Well, let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job punctuating his combinations with that hook tonight. Big kick lands. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And now some distance as they pull apart. Oh. Round two is next. <laughs> All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so he survives to the stool, but he's going to need a plastic surgeon on Monday. Let us show you some of the strikes that caused that damage above the eye. Just beautiful striking on display. He found the target constantly. He opened up a big cut above the eye, and now he sees that he's got a wounded opponent in front of him. He is going to target that eye even more in this next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. Next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high levels of martial arts. I mean, what else can you say about that Max Holloway jab? Just makes it look easy. He makes it look easy, and now he's throwing them more. He's throwing more jabs because he has an understanding. Oh! Oh! on the straight right hand. 
So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes. In this yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Man, Holloway at his relentless best. No breathing room for the opponent as he continues to press forward here. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack the other cop. The cop man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head now. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp strike in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game team. You know why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing now. All right, so now we start to see some visible damage in the form of swelling as the ground and pound strikes continue to land. Ooh, that looks pretty tight. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All big punches landing here. We'll see if he can work back to his feet. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. He has got to change something. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Back and forth we go. Holloway's eye is starting to swell shut. Strikes nicely here from top position. Another ground and pound strike gets home. All right, round three coming up next. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? Ready. 
Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight nights. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Holloway's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, misses with the jet. Well, you see why Holloway is such a fan favorite. Beautiful land there with the left hand, and now we'll see what he can do. Oh! Massive oh, shot land. It's over, John. Price done. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso, and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. Holloway's back in full guard now. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Holloway's eye is essentially swollen shot at this point in time. I'm not so sure they're not going to step in, Daniel, and stop this fight right now. Hard to be a one-eyed fighter in a mixed martial arts set. Oh, shoots for the double leg takedown. Looked to be a good entry. Unable to finish the job. Flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. So the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that he's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, he's got the core locked in. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing the opponent to get the submission victory. Wow, he is landing time and time again on that cut. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts, even when they get him. Continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these take these submissions. Oh, another blow lands on the cut. Critical situation now. He's a bloody mess. <laughs> Attempting a choke now. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. Oh, he's looking at her being stopped every row. Holy smokes. Have a night, young man. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's going to be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop in this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and New! Undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Elia El Matador Gaporia! So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, I mean, this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ. 